Hi guys, Abby here. So, yet again, this is another apology video. I feel as if all my videos have been like, I'm really, really sorry, but I promise you I have a good reason. One, all my videos are on my computer. Two, my iMovie crashed. Three, my computer crashed, so I wasn't able to put anything up. Basically, all my last video was me and my friends went to a haunted nursery, well, me and my friends, Mandy, and all that. And me and Mandy then went to a graveyard because we got bored. And I took a video, and in the video, it was really black, and I was like, that's weird because I can see it all. Because it was 4 a.m., so like there was a street lamps on, and it, was, it wasn't completely dark. And then I took a picture, because I was like, I need proof that there was actually something there. And in the picture, it's so vivid, like the grass is bright green, and the sky was all yellow and orange, and all the graves and that were like, really vivid. I was like, wow, how is that happening? Because like, in the video, it's like, just the street lamp. I was quite worried. So then, number two, last week, I was doing my Duke of Edinburgh practice, and we went to sleep. We did 60 hours walking, went to sleep, then woke up, and the snow was like that. Like our tents were collapsing in on us. It wasn't fun. And then we had to cook our own food. And I think I gave everyone in my tent food poisoning. Because we were all sick. So that wasn't good. And I've like hurt my ankles and my feet and that. Then number three. I got through to the area finals teen star. My video for that should be on my other channel. Very, very soon. Like a month time. Oh that's not quite soon but still. And the fourth thing I have to talk about is. There's this thing called the Carnegie Book Award. And our school's in a shadowing of it, so basically there's a certain pe amount of pupils being picked and we're going to read all eight books. Well, the younger ones aren't going to read this one. I offered to read this one, it's called When Mr Dog Bites by Brian Conaghan. It's a really good book, but it's about a boy with Tourette's, so there's like swearing on every page that talks about sex, so the younger ones can't really read that, so I offered to read it in place of them, because I'm the oldest doing it. Even though I'm in third year, no other ones want to do it. <laughs> Jeez. So it's about boy threats and it's such a heartwarming story because like it's funny and but it's quite sad because his dad's in the army and he misses his dad so much and he doesn't like his threats like when he feels like he calls them eruptions, like a volcanic eruption. He calls them eruptions and he says when he feels one coming, like He'll try and stop it because he hates it, uh, and he'll, he'll try to hold it in, but when he does that, like, it gives him a headache and, like, he gets hurt by it. So Guess his phone ran out of storage while she was recording this video. Me. It's always when I'm recording a video, my storage just dies and I have to go delete, like, everything I have. And it's so annoying. So basically, I was talking about this book. I would recommend it, not to younger readers because it's got swearing and it talks about sex, but I'd recommend it to more mature readers and adults, I guess. So basically, I've not read all eight books yet, but that's definitely one to compete with. I, it deserves to win so much. And it was easy to understand because it was based in Glasgow, so... I live near Glasgow, so I like understood the language and stuff. So it was pretty good. I hope you have enjoyed this video, even though it's just an update. It's my Easter holiday, so I'll be doing loads more videos. So thank you for watching. Hope you have sweet dreams of rainbows and unicorns. Bye!